everybody, welcome to the ML and AI Sandbox here at IO 2019. So in the keynote, we saw some amazing stuff that you can accomplish with on-device ML. And I'm here with TensorFlow Lite, showing developers how they can build that same stuff themselves. So we've got everything through from object detection to image classification and voice recognition. And we're showing people how they can deploy that down to devices that are really tiny and run for weeks on a single battery. So to really show you what's possible with TensorFlow Lite on device, we built this amazing experience called Dance Like. Okay, behind me is Dance Like. It's a super fun application using TensorFlow Lite, which is TensorFlow's mobile and embedded systems framework for running machine learning. It basically teaches people how to dance. And so it does this by running pose segmentation on the GPU. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, GPU related ops that we just released for TensorFlow Lite. So you should check those out. It enables you to run super fast models. We're running two in real time and giving the user a, a heap of feedback which helps them dance better. So to go and build really interesting applications on uh, mobile phones, embedded systems, and uh, executing this all on device, uh, you can go to tensorflow.org slash light. There's heaps of sample code. There's lots of documentation and tutorials. Uh, and you can go and build an amazing application like Dance Like uh, and release it to the world. What we're looking at here is a model called PoseNet. PoseNet is a model that's trained on images of human beings and is trained to predict their skeletal pose. This model here is actually running entirely in the browser with a library called TensorFlow.js. TensorFlow.js is a machine learning library for JavaScript that can run entirely in the browser and use your GPU through WebGL. Now, TensorFlow.js also runs in Node.js using the entire TensorFlow C++ binary and all of its hardware acceleration stories behind it. Piano Genie is a model that runs in TensorFlow.js entirely in the browser as well that generates MIDI notes as part of a piano performance. Now, this model is interesting because it brings a human in the loop and lets the human condition where the model is actually going to go. TensorFlow.js is open source and is available online on tensorflow.org slash js as are multiple more examples and demos of how to use it. Head over there today to start building machine learning for the browser.